Well, thanks. A few weeks ago, our David Hammer began looking into the city's rebuilt levees and flood walls, and they found out they're sinking. Well, to a certain extent, that was expected when the Corps of Engineers rebuilt the flood protection system after Hurricane Katrina. But this hurricane season, there is some concern that the levees are sinking faster than expected, and it will cost more than planned to raise them back to safe levels. Eyewitness investigator David Hammer explains. Roy Arago's house was one of the first to flood when the 17th Street Canal levee breached after Hurricane Katrina. I did and everybody in my neighborhood got about eight feet of water in our houses. The storm laid bare the massive failures of the Corps of Engineers hurricane protection system of levees and flood walls. In 2007, Congress gave the Corps $14.6 billion to make it right. That was $14.6 billion in federal money that they were uh, going to the federal government was providing to rebuild the flood protection system. No sooner did the Corps of Engineers finish the last piece of that upgrade project last year than it posted a notice in the Federal Register this April saying subsidence and sea level rise will cause levees to require future lifts. The Corps has warned Congress that it will soon be asking for more money, as much as $800 million to do those lifts which is basically adding more earth on top of the sinking levees. The Corps says if it doesn't, the levees will no longer provide the promised 1% level of risk reduction as early as 2023. But I would think your typical citizen would expect it to last, uh, last longer. The Corps built most of the levees to 14 feet above sea level between 2007 and 2014. But this Corps of Engineers schematic from 2016 shows the typical levee had already dropped about four feet to a top height of just 10 feet above sea level. This map shows about 75 miles of lifts that local levee districts have already started or completed. The fact that these levees won't be certifiable in four years is a travesty. Scientist Ivor Van Heerden led LSU's investigation of the core levee failures after Katrina. His team of independent scientists, known as Team Louisiana, wrote a report encouraging the Corps to build its upgraded levees with extra height to account for subsidence. In engineering, that extra room is called freeboard. Unfortunately, the Corps decided not to take uh, that advice. This is inexcusable when you have a $14 billion project you build in the freeboard. From an engineering standpoint, that may be true, but legally, that ship has sailed, according to Mark Davis, the director of the Tulane Institute on Water Resources Law and Policy. So whether there should have been freeboard that we don't have, what we have is what we have. Davis says the real issue now is whether New Orleanians should expect a higher level of protection in the future. Because that was being designed to the 1 in 100 year level of protection, which is essentially what you need for flood insurance, for mortgages, for those things. No one that I have ever talked to thought that was adequate. Indeed, the standard that failed going into Katrina was higher. After Hurricane Betsy in 1965, Congress authorized the Corps to build a hurricane protection system to protect against a one in 250 year storm. But the post Katrina project didn't promise hurricane protection anymore. It only offers risk reduction and not for a large one in 250 year storm, but only for a smaller one in 100 year storm. But I was in the room for many of the discussions after Katrina. I was in Washington quite a lot. And I never heard anybody say, you know what this city needs? Lower protection. Davis thinks local leaders should push Congress and the Corps to deliver a system that meets that old level of protection against a one in 250 year storm. Couldn't the argument be made by local leaders, by homeowners like you? Yes. We demand that we go back to this higher level of protection. I think so, yes. But instead of 14 billion, that kind of system could cost $45 billion. Van Heerden says getting that type of help from the feds is a pipe dream. New Orleans got, got its shot. And I think it's gonna be very hard to get another shot. I hate to say that. 
Senator Bill Cassidy said just convincing his colleagues to give the Corps another $800 million just for the expected levy lifts is no slam dunk. I, th I think we'll do it. It's so important, but that's a challenge. Another challenge? Louisiana taxpayers will likely have to come up with 35 percent of the costs up front for all of this future levy work. I think the bigger issue is for the state. The state already is going to have a difficult time coming up with the dollars needed to pay for the state's portion of the rebuilt Katrina levies. Now we're speaking of more state money going forward. But won't people go back to the fact that the federal levies that were supposed to be this higher level of protection failed and therefore it's a federal responsibility to make it right? I think that's a very emotionally appealing argument. I just don't see it you know, carrying the day legally or politically. That leaves the responsibility on locals to remain vigilant. Because we can't forget those levies failed, so we can't let them fail again. Arago remains confident that the new levy so system makes him and everyone in the New Orleans area safer. Why are you so confident that this system is ready when we know that they need to do these lifts just to get it back up to the bare minimum? So I keep a close eye on them. I'm not an engineer. I just can't see water pushing those sheet piles out of the way. Optimism that's hard for some people to share. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Now the Corps says local levy districts have already finished about a third of the 75 miles in levy lifts and armoring projects, which involves placing concrete slabs on the levees to prevent erosion.